Yeah, I sure can. There you are. Whoops. Didn't mean to sideways, it. but. Oh, is it sideways? Yeah. I guess. That's so, all right, man. Uh, hey, good to see you guys. Uh, I'm sorry. I have uh, royally messed up the Zoom call invitation. It'd been a while. I'd taken things for granted, and then I just had to copy and paste, and I'm glad to have you all on. So I'm going to uh, – I'm recording it, so I'll just send it to uh, the other – We've got about 18 that were supposed to be on here. So 15 that were supposed to be on here. So they're only five. So I'll I'll forward it to them, but we'll we'll press on and um let me get some information to you guys and then we'll we'll ask some questions. So let me uh, let me pray for us. Lord, thank you for this amazing opportunity. And we just pray you'd meet with us in the next few minutes. God, help me to communicate effectively the details, and I pray for my friends uh, listening that uh, they'd open their hearts to what you'd have them participate and uh, what level, and uh, we'll just trust you, God, that your kingdom work will flourish. It does if we obey, so help us to do that. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hey, thanks, guys. Uh, I think... Uh, Let's see, we got uh, Jason Rowell in Laverne, Ryan Anka in Pensacola, Cody Hall in Alberta, Chris Fancher in Saraland, and we've got probably 10 or 12 others that have expressed interest. So let me let me go through and and give you guys some information and uh because I'm I don't have a Zoom membership, I'm pretty sure I will only have until 4:30. But if we if we get cut off, you guys all have my cell number. You can call me with more questions and stuff. So here we go. First of all, Justin Patterson is going to be the co-leader. Uh, I think some of you know Justin. He's our mobile director. He's been on a lot of trips with us internationally. And so he'll be a co-director. He couldn't be on. But he's another guy that you can ask questions of. He'll be great. You'll love Coach Patterson. Uh, we have a we uh, five years ago in uh, 2018 we started a relationship. I took six coaches to Germany. You guys remember that because I probably came after you guys for that too. Uh, we went over there and we did football camps, clinics, practices in uh, Munich and Reutling and Stuttgart, and we just connected with the the staff at Reutling. They had just started their program. Um, we invited them to come over. They came over in 2019. Then they just came over again in two weeks ago, a month ago. So we have a special relationship with them. They have really done a good job of expanding their program. When we met them in 2019, 18, they just had a senior team. Now they have 19U, 17U, 15U, and 13U. Wow. So they they've really uh they've really done well. So they really want us to come again and do what we did for them last time and just e e expand it down uh for them. Then we've also, FCA recently hired their, our first staff member in Germany, and he is going to be stationed in Straubing, which is in eastern Germany, eastern southern Germany. And he, he really wants us to come and do the same thing there. So uh, the plan right now is, is, is still uh, soft clay. But we basically we want to go to southern Germany and uh, further our relationship with the Reutling Eagles and equip and empower our new FCA guy who is coaching in Straubing and help him with his ministry there. Uh, they their their kids are in school during the day. 
and they're the adults on the on the uh, uh, senior team are at work. So most of our day is free. So we'll spend time going and enjoying the sights of Germany, seeing their culture, their world, stuff like that. And then in the late afternoon, we'll go to work. We'll do uh, clinics. Uh, we'll we'll go to practices. We'll conduct practices. Um, and uh, maybe even do a camp for a number of local clubs. They do their football through clubs, not through schools. So um, they really, it'll be in the middle of their season, but they are really hungry for what you guys know, uh, how to run a practice, how to, how to, how to attack a four man front, how, how, you know, anything, any football knowledge that you have, they want it and they like it to be in person because they do a lot of YouTubing over there. And, um, but when we showed up, man, we had, we had big crowds everywhere we went. So it was, it's pretty, it's pretty amazing. So most of our work is in the late afternoon into the evening. I'm not, I'm not calling this a mission trip. I'm calling it a football relationship trip because when I say mission trip, most of you guys have been on those and you know what that's like. You go and you pull up a flatbed trailer and you share, show the Jesus film and give an invitation and a bunch of people get saved. Um, but this is not like that. This is, we, we are going to uh, further our relationship with our new German football friends. Uh, Germans are very guarded about their spiritual lives. They're very private people. Um, it's it, I've known these guys for five years and I'm, I've just now on our last time together, did I make what I would call significant progress in talking about spiritual matters. So, my, my, uh, I guess it's a challenge to you is, uh, I want you to go. I know the kind of guys that you are, but I don't want you to go unless you're going to, um, to make some friends because ultimately that's what that's that's the plan. This is a what what I'm calling a slow burn. I want you to go and I want you to I'm going to challenge you to make three friends. And then when you come back to the States, utilize social media to um, to help you further that relationship. I'm going to challenge you to get 10 prayer partners to pray for those guys that you're going to develop a relationship with, with the hopes that one day through this, through, through the beautiful game of football, we're, you're going to get together and they're going to see there's something different about you. And you're going to get an opportunity to share Jesus with them. So does that make sense? That's, that's kind of a little bit about them, a little bit about us, a little bit about our mission. Does all that make sense? Yes. Jason, you went five years ago. Kind of, kind of share with the guys a little insight into that. Is that pretty accurate? Uh, yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, you know, I think it's what's exactly what you hit on. It's, it's bridging the gap through football to open up the avenues to share Christ. And as you forementioned earlier, and, and you told us five years ago that it, it may be a two-year process, it may be a four-year process, it may be a five-year process, and um, I typically I talk to several of those guys from, that I call friends of mine from Germany at least once a month now. I mean, we'll shoot each other a message and, hey, how's your day? How you doing? How's the football program going? And it's it's been cool to see those guys evolve, and, and the game is really, really growing. Uh, they're growing passionate about the game of football over there, American football. Um, and so it's it's been it's an exciting time to see. I, I would have. I would encourage any of you that that are on the fence about going, uh, man, go. It's uh, uh, you think you're going to help a lot of people, but in turn, you know, I, it was a life experience for me, and and 
it was eye opening uh, just to to see the German people and their culture and and what they thought of of American football. And of course, we had Javier Arenas go with us and from the group in Tuscaloosa. And, you know, he was a, a superstar and the news channels were in. I think that was at Munich when we went over to Munich. They had the news uh, uh, shooting uh, those scenes there. So it was a very cool experience. I think you guys would would really, really like it. Um, and again, I got a lot out of it spiritually uh, just by building those uh, relationships with those German uh, counterparts. Yeah, good. Thank you, Jason. Yeah, uh, that, that's that's kind of that's just kind of the way um, uh, I, the Lord laid out a plan for us five years ago to do this. So this is kind of a the fifth year installment, if you will, of of that plan. So uh, I, I know some of you guys just just uh, got on, and uh, uh, I'm sorry, Tony and Zach uh, and Jason, that you guys. Uh, got on late, but I'm recording it and I'm going to send it to you uh, afterward. So that's uh, my mistake on the on the Zoom meeting. But let's uh, let me let me keep running through some of these details for you. Uh, what's going to be required, uh, but if you if you if you get on the team, is we'll, we'll have four Zoom meetings uh, before we go. Those are those are required. So if you if you've got a conflict, uh, I'll record the Zoom meeting. You can watch it later. But we'll we'll we've got things that we do to prepare to go as a team. I mentioned a ten prayer partners that are required. Uh, that's serious for me. Uh, you can't go if you have eight. You have to go. You have to have ten. Um, but uh, I'm just kidding. But anyway, getting 10 prayer, prayer partners is is how the only way we're going to see God do anything good in this thing is if we got people praying for us. And then their FCA requires there's a trip agreement that uh, basically because I know all of you guys personally, I have I have no problem taking you overseas, but FCA requires you to look over this trip agreement and make sure you don't act a fool. Basically, if you can sign your name, say, I will not act a fool, then, um, then you can go. And if, you know, if you don't know what the phrase act a fool means, then you can't go. <laughs> uh, the cost is approximately $2,500. That includes your airfare, your ground transportation, your hotel, your travel insurance, your meals, and there's a small administration fee uh, to help me and Justin pay for some of our costs. That That's pretty much everything. Uh, the only thing that's not included in that are any personal meals or side trips that you have. Um, you know, if, if, if we've got a free morning and you and, and we're having team breakfast at the hotel and you want to take your wife to a, 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 a cool cafe down the road, you can do that. You just have to pay for it yourself. Um, hey, that does cover uh, one liter Cokes and beer steins, right? <laughs> yes, it does. Yeah, yes, it does, Jason. I'm, I'm so glad you mentioned that because – Drinking a two liter Coke after practice. Yeah, there you go. Re represent, man, uh, will be what you want to do. So that is covered. Uh, we, we have a sample support letter for you if you want to. A lot of times when people go on trips with us, they will send out a support letter. Uh, we have a sample support letter that you can do that. You've got friends who and people who love you who would uh, donate towards your trip. We'll help you with that. Cottage Hill Baptist Church is kind to allow us to use their financial system. So whoever donates or whoever uh, or any any of your contributions toward the trip, all of that will go to Cottage Hill Baptist Church. They set up for us a uh, folder for you and keep all that information, all that money. Uh, and then they will, we will use them to pay our bills. And so all of what you contribute toward the trip, or if somebody contributes for you, it's all tax deductible. 
So that's a good thing. Also, it's all non-refundable due to the IRS. Um, once you once a a check is made out to a 501c3, like FCA or Cottage Hill, once it's deposited, it's gone. You can't get it back. Uh, now, if if something comes, you will have travel insurance. So if something comes up, you know, toward the latter part, and you know something comes up and you can't go, we uh, the travel insurance will kick in there and get you reimbursed. They're going to be three eight. That twenty five hundred is going to be made up of three eight hundred dollar deposits. One, the first one is due December nineteenth. The second one is due February twenty seventh. The third one is due May eighth. I've done all of my trips that way, just to break it up and make it a little easier on us. Um, and there have been times when people have said, hey, Dennis, I know it's due February 27th. Can I have until March 3rd? I'm like, yeah, you got I, I know everybody on the call, so I'm not worried about your integrity. So, you know, there's a little flexibility there. What was the last two dates, December 18th and then what? December 19th, February 27th and May 8th. February 27th and May 8th. Yeah. So, uh, and the ladies, if, if you've got a wife that wants, my wife is going to go, there are a couple of wives I know that are going to go, uh, we're going to be a little more purposeful in getting them involved. Some of them went last time and um, they had a little more free time than we did, but uh, this time we're going to go, we're going to get some more things for them to do and get them a little more involved with us in practice and things like that, maybe doing some other stuff that the ladies would enjoy. So they're not just standing around watching us do a clinic. Uh, I don't know about you, but I have found that that is not on the top of my wife's joy list, watching a football clinic. So that's, uh, that's kind of it. Let's, uh, we got a few more minutes until zoom kicks us off. What questions do you have? I don't have any right now. Uh, the, yeah. the dates, Dennis, what were the exact dates for, for departing and then returning? And I assume we're flying out of Mobile or? Probably going to be Pensacola. How about that, Ryan? Good that, for you. That works for me. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> um, yeah. Probably, Pen I, we, I found I'm working with the airlines now to uh, the specific dates. I won't know till probably probably a, another week. Um because the I'm, I'm looking for the cheapest way to fly. Do we leave on third? It'll either be we depart the 28th of June or the 29th of June. We will try to stay eight nights. So that puts us back either July 6th or July 7th, right in there. So I've still got a little work to do uh, settling on our flight, our flights. But that was my goal was to get to get you guys out and back again in that first week of July. Yeah. <clears throat> Say those dates again, June 28th or 29th, Dennis. Yes, sir. And then add eight, eight days to that. So that might be July 6th. It might be July 7th. Yeah, that'd be perfect. That'd be, yeah, it's probably about just about everybody's going to be breaking. Right. Yep. It was about the dates we went five years ago. That's right, Jason. Yeah. Worked out. Yeah. We we found that was just a universal good time to go for for you guys. Okay. And the first payment, Dennis, is December when? December 19th. Okay. I'm gonna hey, have, I'm gonna have knee, my second knee replacement surgery on Thursday, December 15th. And and my wife, if if I can do this, I not might need to move my payment back just a few days because I've got I'm I would have to do the thing with some and try to get some help, and I would just try to I would have to kind of get all that stuff stuff done. But just giving you a heads up there. Yeah, yeah, we can make it work, man. Yeah. Hey get Dennis, I do, I do want to say, uh, you know, talking about going back to the uh, support letter from SCA. 
uh, I sent, shared it with friends and family and of course local churches and the churches, church that we attend. And, uh, when we went five years ago, I didn't have to pay for anything. Yeah. It was the blood. So, um, that's, that's a really good tool to use. Listen, you guys have people who love you. Yeah. And they're looking for a way to show. Oh no, you, you haven't you haven't been watching the news. Not very many people love Sarah. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, Sarah. Every the people love everybody except Sarah Land. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, especially in Baldwin County where I live. <laughs> hey, but but you, you can send that letter out as a as a as a current champion. That's right. Well, For, forever. Hey, That's congratulations, right. by the way. Thanks, Jason. Yeah. I'm kidding, guys. I'm I'm jesting, please. I know, part you know. of I know you know. I'm, I'm not jesting. You guys have people who love you. And if you send out a letter and, and say something like, hey, Dennis asked me to go. We are going to Germany to build relationships with these German football coaches who love our game. And uh, I feel like the Lord wants me to go. Yeah. So send a check, Cottage Hill Baptist. I mean, I can help you set it up. And, and it, it, it's cool how it works. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to send, uh, I'll send all you guys a, um, um, the, a recording of this. I'll send all you guys the, the dates and the, the specifics. Uh, you guys just pray and talk to your families and see if, uh, you know, this is something that can work for you. And uh, I hope to have you on the team. Can you can you go ahead and forward us any letters or anything like that that you have that we can work with? I'll do it. I'll send you uh, I'll send you the letter sample letter. Yeah, please do. All right. Thanks, Dennis. Hey. You're the best. All right. Thank Thanks, you, guys. Thank you, Look forward to working with y'all. Take All care, right. man. Thank y'all. Appreciate it, Dennis. Yeah, man.